There are some foundational things that you can do in InDesign that will set up your content for success. Master pages are the place that a typesetter would set up the text frame, the running heads, the folios, etc. So let's navigate over into the master pages for this file and have a look at what that means. I'm going to move this aside. So here are the master pages for this book. They're very simple. Folio is at the bottom. That little A down there means it's a folio. It's inserted from up here. Insert special character, markers, current page number. That's what that is. Um, and then the running heads are along the top and there's the text block in the middle. Fairly simple. There's often a little bit more space in the gutter of a print book for thick spine reasons and along the bottom margin for thumb reasons. The designer may set up columns or layout grids using guides in the master pages. The main thing for ebook developers to know about master pages is that this is where you keep the things that need to appear in print but function differently for digital, so we want to keep them out of the way. The running heads and folios in an e-reading environment are generated by the reading system. So items that you need to stay on the master page will appear with a dotted line in live pages. Let's have a quick look over at what that looks like. I'm going to make this a bit bigger and then show you what I mean. With the item selection, the arrow tool, the suction tool um, on, if I click on the text frame, you can see that it's live. I can move it around. I'm not going to do that because it's weird. But the running head, I can't. And that's because it's dotted. It's like sort of gray. It's an InDesign version of grayed out and it's not live on the page. And this is how we want it. I could command shift click that frame and make it live on the page. So again, command shift click makes it live on the page and edit this to avoid typos to say whatever I want. I'm not going to do that because that's weird. And I'm going to uh, command Z the heck out of that and go back to not having that live on the page. Items that need to stay on the master page will appear with a dotted line in live pages as you've just seen. A thing I see a lot of typesetters who make these things live on the page, um, what they do this in order to edit the running head to the current chapter title. So on the right hand page or the recto page, they're going to edit this and say chapter one. Um, I am going to throw the first trick I'm going to show you is how to set the running heads both so that you never live type anything because as you saw just a second ago I introduce error every single time I live type something and you'll and then also for the ebook purposes you won't have this weird frame with the words chapter one in it in your ebook so that won't happen with this trick I'm going to show you and the key thing there is to use text variables so I'm going to go over to the right hand page and there's the chapter. Um, it's editable, editable on the master pages. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to overwrite it with a text variable. So let's go through that process. The one thing I want to show you first is that this text up here at the top of the page is styled with a unique style sheet called our head or running head. Um, if you have different styles, like on the right you want things right aligned and on the left you want things left aligned, you'll need two style sheets for those two different running heads with different um, alignment. But for this book, because it's centered, it can just be one, um, one paragraph style called our head. So setting up a text variable is the way to fix this. On the master pages, I've created that box and I've, cr I've created a kind of dummy running head and styled it. The next step is to go up to type and then down to text variables. The first thing we'll do is define our text variable. So under define, I'm going to say edit the running header. So I'm going to um, highlight running header and then click edit. And then here's a whole suite of options. There's, there's a lot more here than we'll need for our purposes today. But um, so the first thing is I'm going to define the running header. It's going to pull from a paragraph style. It can only pull from a paragraph style, not a character style. And then I'm going to choose CN, which stands for chapter number. That's what my chapter number uh, paragraph style is called. I'm going to opt for that. And then I'm going to leave the rest as default. So the use is first on page. You can, there are other fancy things you can accomplish from this window, including adding text before or after, which is handy if the folio is going to go along with the running head, or say you want the running head to appear in square brackets or something like that. And you can also delete terminal punctuation or change the case. 
for our purposes, we just need the basics. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to say done. And then I'm going to go back over here and overwrite this text that reads chapter number. So back up again to type and down to text variables and insert variable. So here I'm going to insert that one that we've just uh, created called running header. And then what happens is that it inserts um, some text here. Um, it's now in triangle brackets and has a blue rectangle around it. So let's go to navigate out of master pages and go look at see what that looks like live in the text. So it says chapter one on page uh, nine. Um, and then please get out of the way, paragraph styles. And then it says chapter one all the way through. And then if we click through to chapter two, it says chapter two. Let's make that a little bigger so you can see it. Um, it's using that text variable. So it's using the first appearance of chapter number in this section to populate the running headers. So keeping page numbers and running headers off of the live page by using variable text and master pages is the way to kind of keep your files as clean and straightforward and easy to port to ebook as possible. And you could teach your typesetters this one cool trick too.